What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, this calendar. And I'm doing something different today due to, well, I'm having a bit of a time issue. I'm not going to do like the excessive one with, you know, of course, uh, the music and whatnot. I'm going to just have a little like slow upload and just do a direct upload without music, like I said, sadly. And um, just have an upload with you guys, I think bringing some good content, or at least content. Um, this was a very, very interesting battle against a guy named Sly Rhino. His name is actually now Sly <clears throat> Explode, if I remember correctly, on um, both Twitter and I think YouTube too, but I'm not making any promises there. But this was a battle I had on my stream against him, and it was actually quite an interesting one. Um, he's definitely having a very formidable team, we had an NU battle. And he's going to bring you Lapras, Gigalith, Tauros, Hiriyama, Gramble, and Sangus. You straight on at it, Sangus is such a potent Pokemon. I can't tell you guys how many times Sangus have just really disrupted my team, to be honest. So I was really fearing that. I myself are using here the Cradley, Stoutland, Golurk, um, Octillery, Silver Strike, and Tokis. And really here, I'm... I'm gonna be honest, I was really scared of whatever was gonna come out from the beginning and had no real idea on what I wanted to accomplish. So I was basically hoping that he was gonna start off with Gigalith. And besides that, we are actually just gonna hit that thing off. And um, yeah, I haven't rewatched this, so I might be a bit slow on the uploads here or the comments, but I knew we were gonna start with Sangos, which was super, super scary because I actually started with Glyph, which is a cradley. And there is not a whole lot I can do here. I mean, I can predict him to go for a Protect here and get off my rocks, which was definitely what I was trying to do. But then I was fearing the obvious move is going to be the Close Combat. Close Combat is, of course, going to break asunder my Cradley. And I have one guy that can take that hit. And that is my Golug. So I was going to switch out, basically baiting him there. I was really bank on that's going to happen. I was sure it was gonna, not going to go for a knockoff, at least not this time. So close combat, obviously it's gonna miss, so feeling a bit safe here, and now I'm gonna switch out, and um, pretty much I'm gonna just stall out the Toxic, hoping that it doesn't hit me super effectively, so I know that knockoff is gonna come, my Violite um, Toki should be able to take that, he actually has Night Slash, which doesn't do too much, I I'm not gonna lie here, it actually did a f very, very little, and now I'm gonna predict him to go for a Facade, or a close combat, I'm just gonna switch back to Optimus Prime, and Jim. Um, yeah, right now I have him in the bag. So what I'm going to do now is actually hit him and open that he goes for a, a facade just because I am just annoying him that much. And what do you know, he actually did that. And I'm going to finish it off with a great punch. And that is how you dispose of Sangus. Never pulled this off ever before. I was really good. I was really, it was a huge relief seeing him go down. Uh, Gramble's going to come here. Gramble, of course, packs... That's some serious, serious punch here, and with Inseminate, it is not going to be that helpful here in this battle, because it definitely threatened me out. I have very few options to play around with, and Glyph is definitely my go-to Pokemon if I had to choose anything. And um, yeah, I mean, he's going to go play rough, and he's not going to do a whole lot. It is, with the crit, it's probably around half, but still in a part where I can actually stall that out. And I knew that, and I was very feeling very comfortable. And uh, I think I don't even try to predict here. I am actually just going to go for Sludge Pump, I remember correctly. Let's see. No, I actually went for Recover. All right, I felt safe staying in. He went for Thunder Wave. I was sort of being a bit slower, guys. Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. Um, honestly, being paralyzed with my Cradley is not really that bad. Cradley is slow from the get-go, and really missing a turn or two is not really that bad. But he's going to show me the lemon, the Tauros. I might have got lemon from, uh, or lime from uh, Hayden, thinking about it. So now I do go for a Sludge Bomb, and um, showing Sludge Bomb is kind of bad, because now it means that he's he knows that his Gramble cannot deal with that. So I'm going to bring Guts, which is an Intimidate, assault, assault Vested, Gramble. It is pretty much impossible to kill. And send it, but while doing a fair amount of damage, it is not enough to deal with this. And of course, being life and whatnot, he still takes that really well. And um, I had very few options here, so if I remember correctly, I just go for the safe return. So he's gonna get intimidated and all that, yes. 
And uh, no, I went for superpower. Played it really safe. All right, that was actually kind of bad. You just go for return, really. But anyway, honestly, not doing a whole lot. Defenses are dropped and whatnot, and that is just all kinds of bad, really. So <laughs> I'm not feeling safe staying in. Have to get out. Really, I mean, why? Why would I stay? I'm gonna go back to Glyph, and Glyph can definitely deal with this. Um, Though the worst part is that I'm being very predictable by doing that, and he definitely predicted me here. Gonna go back to his Tauros. I was like, dude, don't, don't do this. Even though I can kind of manage at this point, I still don't feel that I should be able to do that in the long run. But I do decide to stay in, hoping that he went for Rock Climb or anything like that. Because I know it kind of whittled down. If I run correctly, I go for Giga Drain. Yes. And finish off that Tauros, or get out of my face. But <laughs> really though, Cradley definitely pulling some weights here. Cradley is such a potent Pokemon, really. The only thing that really hits or scares it out is fighting types, and there is why Hiriyama is here. And honestly, there is not a whole lot I can do than Hiriyama. I have still my Optimus Prime, which can kind of take the residual damage, but Hiriyama always, always has, has knockoff. So with that in mind, he decides to switch out. He actually goes for Thunder Punch. And not only is all that all kinds of surprising, it is in that range where I just like, what what the hell just happened? I was hoping I was going to able to outspeed it when for a roost. I am honestly not. And in this situation, he probably going to take me out eventually. So I think I just went for damage here, just getting something going. And um, yeah, he's going to do a decent chunk. But with that in mind, I feel that this Pokemon could be Assault Vested. He's either that or share for life orb. So I'm just gonna go to Optimus, hoping for another Thunder Punch, because it is, of course, totally immune to that. So I'm immune to that and his fighting move. So I'm actually faster, which I didn't think I were if I went to Drain Punch. But luckily for me, he doesn't have the knockoff, which means that I can live this. I don't live this well, though. I don't. There, But uh, at the same time, I can't retaliate with an earthquake against him, and the Hiriyama's gonna go down. So yeah, things are going well. Though the Gramble in his team is definitely, it's still potent, it still does a considerable amount of walling against me, which I can't really work around. I know my opponent is feeling that, I'll even go so far and say that that is probably his gateway to kind of come into this battle again. And I have definitely have to switch out, so I'm going to go back to Glyph. Like I said, I'm being extremely predictable, but Glyph is just that perfect wall in this battle. Definitely doing what it's supposed to, and my opponent actually wins with Thunder Wave. Not going to lie. That's kind of cool. Very, very ballsy. You can see that one Pokemon is paralyzed, and the Pokemon that was out is a ground type, obviously immune to it. So you're gonna go to Chomp, which is a Gigalith, and uh, you know, I'm a sucker for Gigalith if it's anything. And I think I went for a Giga Drain here. Yes! Um, that was my safest move. I knew it was gonna switch out. And now he is in the range where I think a uh, Custop Berry would give him priority. Wasn't that sure whether or not he had that, so I was gonna switch out, and I went to Optimus, hoping for an explosion. Yeah, I really, really was hoping for that explosion, but no, we went for Superpower, which is actually okay, because I'm still immune to it. But that could have ended really badly for me. Like I said, I was so sure that he was gonna go for, of course, the Marvel's move that is Explosion, but luckily for me, that did not happen, and even so, I had the right response to kind of avoid that. So he's gonna go back to his Gramble, and well, hell, there is just nothing I can do about this Pokemon. It's such a beast, and um, I am now in a position where he only got two Pokemons left. I should be able to at least do some damage. I was hoping I could take it out with one Earthquake, and uh, what do you know? Crit City, and that is really bad. I mean, I could have switched out to the um, Gramble, of course. Uh, his last Pokemon is Lapras, and I still have yet to lose a Pokemon. So I decided to, what the hell, let's see what it does. I'm just going to go for Drain Punch anyway. But he's going to show me the monstrous move that is Dragon Dance. So I was not going to lie here, feeling a bit, bit scared here. Uh, Drain Punch is not going to do a whole lot. While I do get some good recovery going, being that it showcased that his physical instead of specially inbound, my assault vest is not going to help me out. I need to get out of here like fast. So I gotta go to Glyph, hoping, and I mean really hoping, that um, he has uh, Waterfall and um, the Avalanche. Because if so, I can probably avoid this off because I have a Storm Drain, so Giga Drain will definitely help me out with that. 
Uh, so he has a chest rest though, which means that it's even more scarier. And he's gonna be a bit greedy, go for another dragon dance while he is able to outspeed. Which I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit greedy. And especially in his position where he can't really set up, or so I thought. But look at this, look at this beast just uh, eating that Gigarain. So I had to switch out yet again, go into Guts, trying to shut it down really with Intimidate. And I know I can't outspeed, hell, it is probably the point of it. But he shows me the Ice Shard instead of the Avalanche. And that means that even that it has the Body Slam and not the Waterfall. Which means one thing, that I won. Because this superpower will annihilate the Lapras because it is Guts from Berserk, the monster, the Demon Slayer, pulling through, and that is a 6 0 in my favor. So, Slice Blood, thank you so much for that battle. It was definitely a very intense one. While I didn't utilize a lot of Pokemons, I think I switched around through, I think I had three Pokemon four. I had four Pokemons out. I never used Octillery or Cerebral Strike because I didn't need him in this battle. Uh, Cradley just. What's that potent wall against you? And the facade that plays against the Sangus, it helped out. It, it turned the bad ties of this spell and stressed you to do very rough decisions. So it was not, it was a great game in, from, from my side, of course, but I'll, I'll see what you, what you were trying to do. And me winning was just judgment call, you know, after one after another. And uh, this time it did pay off, but it might as well not to. If you had predicted me early on there, and I, I knew that, so I, I'm definitely feeling that you did to play a good game. I just I just had that momentum this battle, and of course, crit on the gramble just sped things up, and I couldn't. I have I didn't even have a real response for Lapras. Hell, I'll even think if you set up with that Lapras properly and had waterfall, it might not been as beautiful as it should have been because that if you had waterfall instead of body slam, that would have taken out the Stoutland, and who the hell knows. After that, where I could, what I, what I really could have done against it. But anyway, Slice Blood, thank you so much for watching. And for the people I've been watching, did this format works for you? Like I said, it is a bit, it, I mean, it's a bit different record like this because I do usually watch the battle then record. So this is just a, <laughs> I'll, I'll stress this out basically. So I hope that it works for you guys. And if not, then, you know, you know, keep that in the post. I'll, I'll definitely read the comments. But uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you like this at least. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, guys, take care. And remember, yeah, sky's limit and all. <laughs> Bye, guys.